What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome to another video. So today, I thought we would have a look and I would share with you, in my experience, what gear do the pros use? And when I say the pros, I'm not talking about me, I'm not talking to the other guys on my level, I'm talking about the top guys. I thought it would be interesting for you to know, from all my experience, I've been lucky, I've sat at international games, Champions League games, Premier League games, NBA games for basketball, and I've seen a lot of the top pros working in and around me. I've seen the gear they use, I thought you might be interested to know, so I'm going to share it with you today. Now what I should say straight off the bat, th the stuff I share with you will be in my observations and in my opinion, this is the gear that most of the pros use. They don't all use the same stuff, but I'm going to share with you, if I had to pick one, if I had to say to you, you know, of all the guys I've seen, the majority of them use this one thing, that's the one I'm going to pick and share with you today. We're going to cover all the different topics. I've got gear, laptops, software, bags, stalls. I'm going to share it all with you. If you think this video is a good idea, do me a favour, hit the like button. Make sure you comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. All the usual YouTube stuff for me helps me out loads and loads on my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Right, let's get into this and I'm going to start at the top. First of all, when it comes to gear, cameras and lenses for taking photos, what do I see the most? What do I see the majority of pros using? Well, you know what? On honestly, I think nowadays I see the majority of professional sports photographers either using Canon or Sony. Now, that's not to say I see some top, top pros using Nikon or Nikon, however you want to say it. I've seen pros using Fuji. I've seen pros using other systems. But if I had to pick, I would say the majority of them tend to use those two. And if I had to pick from those two, I would say right now the majority of the top pros are probably using Canon cameras. Specifically, they're using the top pro bodies. Now, I've got my 1DX here as an example of a pro body, but the top guys aren't using the 1DX anymore. Mostly, they're using the Canon R3. You guys probably know a fair bit about the Canon R3. You've heard about it on this channel. I'm sure as soon as the R1 gets released, a lot of them will move to the R1. But the majority of them right now, I would say the top guys mostly are using the Canon R3 camera body. They normally will have at least two of those, quite often three, even four of those if they're setting up remotes. So what lenses are they using on those Canon R3s? Well, for field sports, pretty much every top pro, and, and I mean pretty much every single top professional sports photographer is using a 400mm f2.8. Alongside that, pretty much every single one will be using a 70 to 200 f2.8. Now, they'll be using the newest one. Some of you may be using the RF one. I've seen some of them actually using the newest, I think it's the Mark III of the EF lens and using it on the adapter. So that's the confidence that some of the top pros have in that adapter. It does work really well with the R3. Then when you move to the wide angle lens, I see pretty much all of them with a 70 to 200 f 2.8 some of them will use the newer i think there's an f2 i think it's a 28 to 70 f2 i think you can get the rf 24 70 um, some of them will be using something even wider than that especially at basketball you'll see things like the 16 to 35 f 2.8 but it is all fast fast glass f 2.8 minimum for pretty much every lens now that's some seriously expensive gear, right? As I shared with you just then, I don't use all that stuff and there's plenty of sports photographers who aren't working on that top budget. Doesn't mean you have to have that stuff, but if you want the honest answer to what are the top pros using, yep, they're using all that stuff. Yep, they're using 20, 30 grand's worth photography, cameras and lenses. Unfortunately, they just are. So what are we moving on to from there? What about the other gear? What are they putting all that gear in, for example? Well, the camera bags that I see the most with professional sports photographers at events tend to be think tank bags. Now I have my think tank backpack. This is the street walker backpack. I see a load of these. I also see a load of the think tank roller case. I think they're called like the airport roller. That's probably the one that I see the most. Every football game, every basketball game, all the top pros are using the think tank roller cases. I don't have a think tank roller case. I'll get onto that in a second, but I do have a think tank backpack. I have to say think tank, probably the best made camera bags that I personally have used or played around with. I love the low pro stuff too. I had a low pro backpack for quite a while, but if I had to choose think tank and specifically 
if I had to tell you what all the top pros are using, they are using think tank bags. Now, some of them don't all have think tank rollers. Some of them will use the Peli case. This is the 1510 Peli case, but the majority of them are using think tank roller cases. That's the camera bag that I see the most if I'm thinking about what all I see the top pros using. Okay, so moving on from there, what about laptops? What computer system are the guys using pitch side? Well, you know what? You tend to obviously always see PCs or Macs. Personally, I'm a PC guy. And when it comes to PCs, I see an awful lot of Lenovo laptops, pitch side, Lenovo ThinkPads. I see these a lot, but if I was to tell you what I see the majority of the top pros using, honestly, most of them aren't using PC. They're using Apple Macs. Now, the MacBooks are great. They're, they're expensive and there's a budget that comes with those. That's one of the reasons why I use PC, along with a lot of other reasons. I prefer PC personally, but you do see a lot of the top pros using those Apple MacBook Pros. That's probably the laptop that I see the most when I'm looking at the top pros pitch side. What about the software? What are they using on those laptops? Well, I would say pretty much every top pro sports photographer. And, and with this example more than most, I probably do mean pretty much every single one is using two main programs. Firstly, they're using Photo Mechanic, and second of all, I've called it one program, but I guess a mix of programs, is the Adobe Editing Suite. Some will use a workflow with Lightroom, some will use a workflow with Photoshop. That tends to be quite a mix. I personally use Lightroom. I see a lot of the top guys using Photoshop, and in fact, if I had to pick, I would say now, I probably see more people using Photoshop than I do Lightroom. But that's really a personal preference. Personally, I like Lightroom. Okay, what about moving on from there? So something I've realized I don't have with me is my monopod. But what monopod are all the top pros using? Well, I would say they're pretty much all using big, strong carbon fiber monopods. And the majority of them are using the top brands like Manfrotto, um, Sarudi, Sarui. God, how do you say that? Someone let me know in the comments. Um, but those tend to be the ones. Velbon, I see a couple of uh, as well. But it tends to be the sturdy carbon fiber monopods. A question I've been asked a couple of times is about tripods, and the answer is I hardly ever, and, and I mean I don't think ever, have I seen a photographer at a pro sports event using a tripod. The video guys obviously are using tripods, but not the camera guys. Pretty much monopod every time, just because of the maneuverability and the way that you can move and use it in a tight space way more than you can a tripod. Okay, moving on from there, what are the top pros sitting on? Well, nowadays, I would say I'm seeing more and more and more of the same stool. Used to see a few different ones. You'd get some of the fold out ones, some of the fold flat ones, but nowadays I'm seeing more and more and more of the Minimax extendable stool. Now, most of the Minimaxes you see are like the yellow and black. This is an official Minimax stool. This is actually a piano stool uh, made by Minimax. That's why it's gray, but it is an official Minimax stool. Now, quite often you see copies of the Minimax stools, like cheaper knockoffs on Amazon that you can get for like 20 pounds. That Those are okay, but I've seen a few of those break on people. But the top pros, pretty much all of them now, are using the Minimax extendable stool. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's like a flat disc and it folds out into a stool like that. It goes a lot higher than I folded it out there but that is the Minimax stool. It doesn't stop there. I've got a few of the other random little accessories as well. What are photographers using in the rain? Well, you guys might know, I use the think tank like sunscreen in the rain, and I do see a few of those. But nowadays, it seems that most of the top pros to protect their laptops in the rain are using the eye caps. I don't have one of those. I actually haven't used one of those, but I'm going to find the link to it, and I will share it in the description below so you can go check it out if you want to. Now feels like a good time to say everything I've talked about, I'm going to include a link to it in the description below so you can go check it out if you want to. What about keeping your cameras and lenses dry? Well, you know what? I see quite a mix with this one. I see a lot of the pros doing just what I do, and they use those Optech or Optech, like disposable plastic sleeves. I see those a lot, but I also see a lot of the think tank rain covers. I forget the official name for them, but they really are good quality. They're quite expensive, which is why I don't use them, or at least one of the reasons why I don't use them. But a lot of the top pros now, you'll see the Think Tank rain covers because they really are supposed to be great quality. 
What about connecting to laptops? Well, you know what? Nowadays, I see more and more of the pros hardwiring their camera straight into the laptop on a tethered cable. You see still quite a few guys going the old school like I do, where you take your card out and you put it into your memory card reader. If that's the case, I see a lot of guys with the Lexar card readers. That's the one that I use. But nowadays, more and more of the top pros are just tethering straight from camera to laptop. That probably is the fastest way and the best way if you really do want to focus on just the top end workflow. Doesn't work for everybody and some of us just haven't moved on to that process yet, me included. I think that's probably enough of the main topics. There's going to be some stuff that I've missed so if you would like to know what else the top pros use put it in the comments below and I will make sure I come back to you and let you know. Just to reiterate what I said at the beginning, not all of the pros are using those things that I've named, but if you were pressing me and I had to choose one, those are the things that the majority of the pros are using nowadays. Loads of us, including me, get on with other gear just fine. If you did find this video useful, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, comment below and let me know which items I missed that you might like to know about. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.